going on everybody? It's your girl, Sneaky Mom here. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new women's Nike down low, Cacao Wow. Let's get into it. You got your same normal Nike Dunk box. It's all red with the white Nike on top. You got the same on this side, same on that side. And then we're gonna get to the front of box and the reads, women's Nike Dunk Low, and the colorway itself, Cacao Wow, and Coconut Milk. Let's get into the insides. Open up the box, you got your normal stamp of approval right there on top of the box. Just some normal cream tissue paper on the insides. That's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get to the main ingredient of this video, and that is the women's Nike Dunk Low, Cacao Wow. Okay, let's start off by saying it's another dunk for the fall. Loving the nice neutral tones that we got going on with this and this browns. I don't know, something about brown on a shoe that just looks good to me. No matter what type of shoe it is, on Nikes, New Balance, whatever you, whatever you have it, brown looks good on the shoe. So these, this brown did these shoes justice. Loving it. It's a Nike dunk low, as we all know. But one thing about it I can say is it's just the regular Nike dunk material. We're not getting any special materials on these. It's a no, normal Nike Dunk leather, which is, it's just there. It, it's not nothing spectacular. It, it doesn't even give you like any major plush in it, any type of way. It's just a Nike Dunk low. I'm just loving the colorway. That's the main thing about the shoe that I like. But overall, material wise, it's just, it's just okay. So let's go ahead and get that out of the window. But let's go ahead and get into the description of the shoe. Like I said, you got this nice uh, brown and white neutral tones going throughout the whole upper of the shoe. You got this nice, just just white leather on top of the toe of the shoe, and then you're gonna go on top of the toe, and you got that nice brown come across the whole upper with that brown Nike chair right there on the side. Back of the heel, you just got that Nike stitched in the white stitching. Still got that white and brown letters on the back of the heel of the shoe. Inside the shoe, you just got your Nike um, in white on the brown footbed of the shoe also. And then we still got going around the ankle, we still got that nice brown going around the ankle also. Flipping to the front of the shoe, you got those nice brown laces, which is very clean. I think I might try to change these out and put some cell laces in. Seeing a couple of pictures with the cell, and I think that really does this shoe justice. So definitely probably gonna switch these out, put in some cell ones. But overall, they only came with brown, so they didn't go in any extra laces. But overall, it's still a very clean shoe. Going back to the top of the tongue right here, you got your Nike right there on top of the tongue and that nice brown colorway um, on the tongue. Also, we're gonna go down here to the midsole. We got this nice cell midsole. To me, this is what brings the shoe out, this nice cell mid. So I'm glad they didn't just have it white. I think that would have just made it just look a little bit more basic. It's something about the cell when they put it on on dunks, it just, to me, brings them out. So this cell did the shoe all the justice that it needed. That's why I said once you throw your cell laces in here with that, it should be a very, very nice shoe. Flip it to the bottom of the shoe, you still got that nice brown on the bottom with that Nike on the bottom of the shoe also in that brown rubber. Overall, like I said, it's clean, y'all. You can't go wrong with it. We all know how Dunks has been in and out. But this colorway, I really liked it. I wanted to go for this colorway, like I said, because I love the browns, love the neutral tones. We got fall coming back, fall and winter. These are definitely going to be a go-to for the fall and winter for me, for my wardrobe-wise, just because, like I said, I love browns, and I have, I have a lot of browns in my wardrobe. But overall, it's just a very nice, clean, clean dunk. Can't go wrong with it, but the only thing bad about it I, that I can say is the materials, it's just your normal dunk material, so it's not spectacular, but it's a dunk. Uh, retail and rise, they retail for $110. was able to get them off the sneakers app when they dropped, or Nike app when they dropped, uh, I think it was July 28th. So they had a pretty, pretty, pretty high stock, so I'm quite sure everyone that wanted these, they was able to get them in because, you know, they had a high stock, and then they have been dropping at several different retailers also. So overall, it's a very nice, clean dunk, and you ain't paying $110, which is not bad for a very, very nice colorway so that was the right shoe left shoes look the same as that way you got those nice brown and white neutral tones going throughout the whole upper of the shoe with that nice cream cell midsole which is very clean like i said braids the shoe out bottom of the shoe you got that all brown leather um bottom with the nike on the bottom and then you go into the back of the heel you still get that nike in the white and you still got that uh white and um, brown leather on the back of the heel also of the shoe came with the brown laces no extra laces but as we all know 
change those out, put you some cell laces in, and you have a banger, in my opinion. Or you can just leave the brown ones in because they don't look bad with the brown ones, but I'm just thinking cream really brings these out. Quality control is okay. Now that I'm looking at it, I just see that I got a little slit on the side of my shoe right there that I didn't know I had, but should have known it should have been something with Nike as usual. It's always something going on with the uh, quality control, but that's the only issue I have so far with the shoe. It's just that little slit that I see on the side, but it's all good. Not even going to worry about it. Just going to wear these just like any other shoe um, here and there. But overall, I just love this colorway. I'm loving the brown and white. I know people saying they're giving them Travis Scott vibes, but to me, every brown sneaker doesn't have Travis Scott vibes. This is just a dunk. So I can't compare these to any Travis Scott's because they are two totally different shoes two totally different materials and it's just a difference of comparison i don't think they should be compared but that's just you know everyone feel as though when something's brown and you got the cream on it, it should be a uh, traffic scott vibe but to me this is just giving me nice clean fall vibe fall and winter vibes with a nice brown colorway nice white and brown and cream colorway and it's just a very nice clean dunk that's all i gotta say about it but y'all let me know down in the comment below what y'all think about these did you go for them or did you pass on them when they came out on july 28th on the uh, nike.com retailing for 110 dollars size and wise get your normal dunk size these are women's uh shoes so fellas if you were trying to go for these make sure you get your women's size and ladies if you did go for these you know get your true size on ladies and your dunk size and you should be good to go overall i wouldn't say go up or down whatever size you normally wear in your dunks that's the same size you should wear in these and you should be good to go but overall nice clean dunk y'all let me know down in the comment below what y'all think about these did you go for them or did you pass on them they kind of remind me of those other brown ducks that we got that came out not too long ago those i forgot what you would call the jp uh japan exclusive dunk to me kind of look kind of similar uh a tad bit not too much but i know these were brown but this colorway is still kind of different so overall this one is still a nice very clean colorway but material wise if you really had to choose out of the two i would definitely say go for these because the material wise on these is a1 and you're getting very very nice materials on a very nice dunk and you get two pairs of laces with these right here and this right here you just get the normal dunk material no extra laces but you still get a nice quality colorway in this nice brown right and cream colorway on a nike down low so y'all that's pretty much all i got for y'all today y'all let me know about these the women's nike down low cacao wow let me know did you go for them and did you pass on them or are you gonna try to get them cop them later on the resale market because i don't think the prices on resale are very high on these um at all so if you still want to go and get them you should be able to pick them up on there and then you should be good to go but that's pretty much all i got for y'all today so if you're new to watching my channel hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you can know when i post all my videos follow me on instagram at sneakermom1721 stay tuned to the end for that on foot hit that like button for you girls so we can get this video pushed out there a little bit more but that's all i got for y'all today so until the next time it's your girl sneaker mom peace